Hello everybody, how are we all doing? Today is Saturday the 7th of September 2013. Hope we're all having a good weekend so far. I know I am. <laughs> I've been sleeping most of today to be perfectly honest with you, but you know, it's the weekend so there you go. Um, just before I get cracking onto the um, final Hollow um, chapter review, um, changes are afoot for Smallville. Um, there are a lot of places on the internet saying that Smallville season 11 is ending. But it's not. All that's all that's happening is that they're changing the format of how the um, digital comics are released. So rather than have you know chapters one, two, three, um, part four of you know the side stories will still be occurring, but like the main story arcs will now be all listed as new number ones as such. Um, so that way, new readers, you know, they can just jump on to the series um, we're not having to worry about what they've missed previously um, so everything if you, if you, if you want to know a bit further more I'll post a, a link or two of some some places that have been posting the full um, outline of what's to come um, from the next main story arc which is titled Alien um, so yeah so after Olympus when Alien kicks off, that's when the format will, will will be changed as such. So, but for for the sites and the outlets that have been touting it as Smallville season eleven is ending, totally wrong, guys. It's not ending. Okay, so don't get your your panties in a bunch or anything. It's definitely not ending. It's still going strong and it's doing really well. Um, so without further ado, here we are back with the final chapter of Hollow. Okay, or sixty three or overall. Okay, and um, this is where we've seen. Lex and Tess have been kind of at each other's throats in some way, metaphorically speaking. Um, obviously, if you remember from chapter three at the end, um, Emil Hamilton got shot, and um, so Tess took over one of the robots uh, remotely and basically was going to seek revenge against against uh, against Lex. Um, so she. Uh, she lined up all of Lex's security and um, effectively took out their kneecaps. <laughs> um, so they're still alive. They're, they're, they're not dead, don't worry. Um, so Lex and Otis are both, um, you know, looking at the monitors. Everything's gone dark. In comes Tess. And this is where it got interesting. Um, she grabs hold of Lex and he's saying, you know, go on, do it. I'm ready. Do it. Just, just kill me. Get it over and done with. You know, I'm not. I'm not afraid. But then somehow the termination got uh, the, the connection got terminated. Um, we, you know, at this present moment in time, we're not sure why. It's as if almost Tess had a second thought. She decided against it or something, or was it something that she saw in Lex? But what we actually find out is that later on, um, sometime after. Um, Emil Hamilton's back on his feet, which is good, so, so he's okay. But the reason why, so Tess explains why she didn't actually kill Lex, and it's because she has been having dreams. Because if you remember, I think it was in either the first chapter or the second chapter of Hollow, where Emil was asking um, Tess, Do you dream? And his, she wasn't really sure how to answer that because she's not sure if she did or didn't dream until she went to visit Hank Hanshaw at Star Labs, who basically said, You know, he 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 often dreams, um, so, in you know he also said to Tess not to squander her second chance kind of thing. You know to any demons that she that she that she's got to face, face them as best as possible, and just you know pursue from there. Um, so for her, you know, it was it was almost like kind of a mind game she was playing with Lex, you know, the pair of them have been at it with each other since since he killed her at the end of season 10 and, you know, she's been in his conscious all, all that time afterwards and it's still it's still like a mind game between the pair of them. Um, so yeah, so even when she mentioned, tells tells Emil that, you know, she's been visiting Hank, he's like, well, when, when did you visit Hank? And then she says to him, you know, you've got to go and see him because he really is lonely. You know, Hank just needs someone to talk to. Um, so, yeah, it's... So so she just had that second thought that, you know, I really don't want blood in my hands if I kill Lex. You know, that's not who I am. That's not who I should be, who I should become. Um, as in, it's not her destiny kind of thing. Um, 
so that aside, we're, we're back at Lex Court with Otis and uh, and Lex, and we actually find out that a Otis has um, removed evidence of Lex ever being attacked by the malfunctioning robot, and b his team were actually at Star Labs for for a specific reason. Now, if we if we remember back to Guardian, um, you remember where um, a spaceship had entered the atmosphere, you know, got came through a tear in the fabric of reality kind of thing. Um, that that was Chloe from Earth Two. Um, so what what we actually found was that Lex's team actually managed to get hold of the um, the um, the spaceship, the blueprint of the spaceship that arrived um, in Guardian, and um, so Lex is trying to think, you know, where 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 exactly did this spaceship come from? And then that's when he pieces it together, you know, the late uh, Lionel Luther, well, his real father, Lionel Luther, and then obviously the next Lionel Luther that arrived. So Lex was thinking, hmm, you know, there's no way my dad would suddenly just be raised from the dead. Um, just like that, so he realised that the other Lionel is clearly from another parallel universe, um, and that's um, and then it's and then between him and Otis, they basically it, the way that it ends. I'll read the full panel. It's quite interesting. It says, "There's another Earth somewhere out there, isn't there? Or at least there used to be." So and Otis asks, "So how do we save this one?" And Lex just says, "That's something I intend to find out," and that's how that final chapter pretty much ends um, it was it was really good I th you know it, it, I was expecting something a bit more intense in terms of the especially between him and between Lex and Tess something a bit more you know a bit a bit of a more frictioned sort of um, tension between the pair of them you know when she's got a hold of him and he's saying, do it, kill me, kind of thing. But then she doesn't. I was expecting a bit more. But because the termination just, you know, the connection just terminated right there and then, I was like, ah, well, that's a, <laughs> that was a bit anticlimactic. But overall, though, the, the, the full, if you, you know, if you look at all four chapters, you would actually, you know, if you read it all seamlessly from one to, from one, from beginning to end, you would think, you know what, brilliant. It was actually fantastic. But um, as I say, I did feel a bit underwhelmed um, for, from this particular chapter. But um, but overall, like I said, overall, I think I think it was it's a spectacular story. Um, again, well written as always. Um, and then we're just waiting to see what the rest of Olympus brings. And then um, I think the new side story um, is called Titans, I believe. Um, which I think where we're going to be introduced to the likes of Superboy and Cyborg and a few other characters in there as well. So. Um, be interesting to see how how the Teen Titans um, get brought into the Smallville universe, which will be awesome. So I can't wait to see that. Anyway, that's it from me. Thank you all very much for watching. See you all very soon. Bye.